Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the California Science and Engineering Fair. We offer our gratitude and congratulations to all of our dedicated participants and judges throughout the state of California. This year, we're grateful to have an amazing judging team of professional scientists, engineers, and sponsor organizations from throughout the state and all across the nation who graciously dedicated their time and efforts to make this fair possible. We are proud to exhibit the work of almost 1,000 of California's most bright, talented and dedicated students, all of whom have set themselves apart and been selected above thousands of their fellow students, just to be admitted into the California Science and Engineering Fair. In addition to these category awards, many of the projects in these categories were also under consideration for a number of sponsored awards. Whether or not you receive a category award be sure to check out the Sponsored Awards, ICEF and Project of the Year Award videos. This video contains awards for the following categories. Plant Biology, Toxicology, and Zoology. Panels, J18, S18, S21, J22, and S22. In the field of plant biology for the junior division, category J-18 this year's category award recipients are An honorable mention for Reagan Yang and Camille Young J-1803 The Plant Chronicle How does the color and intensity of light affect plant seedling growth? Central Middle School An honorable mention to Damian Martinez J-18-14 Soluble Nutrient Solutions for Drought Resistance John Sutter Middle School An honorable mention to James Zumwalt, J1819 The Effects of Regular and Eco-Friendly Detergent Grey Water on Plants Street Gregory the Great Catholic School Receiving an honorable mention, Sahel Munshi, J1825 Modulating Oxen Alters Plant Development Portola Middle School, Highly Gifted Magnet Our fourth place winner is Arnav Gupta J1808, Development and Evaluation of a Novel Eco-Friendly Bioherbicide Fenugreen, Green, Using an Innovative Custom-Built Sonicator Fugman Elementary In third place, Ansh Talker J18-07, a Raspberry Pi based automatically maintained hydroponic system. Champion School. In second place we have Victoria Harding Bradley. J1815, Green Ears, a study of ultrasonic acoustic emissions in response to environmental stressors in plants. Nativity Catholic School. And first place goes to Maya Gandhi. J18-06. The effect of a magnetic field on hydroponic plant growth, positive or negative? Fairmont Private School, Anaheim Hills Campus. In the field of plant biology for the senior division, Category S-18 this year's category award recipients are Receiving an honorable mention, Ishan Gonhal. S-1803, Simulate to Innovate. Cell signaling simulations of stem cell mutants with enhanced transcription factor binding to optimize crop productivity. Martin Luther King High School. An honorable mention to Michelle Chan, S18-09. The use of brass and asteroids to reduce the amount of water required to grow rice, Ariza Sativa, Palos Verdes Peninsula High School. Our fourth place winner is Jocelyn Zhang, S1810. Infrared Thermal Imaging and Statistical Analysis for Plant Stress Detection and Phenotyping Del Norte High School In third place, Ella Echandi S18-01 The effects of three biostimulants on CBC5 Strawberries Plant Health, Plant Growth Performance and Nutrient Uptake through the analysis of the root mechanism Margaret's Episcopal School In second place we have Prathan Ghosh S1808 Computer Vision for Harvesting Potatoes, Onions, and Radishes. Cupertino High School. 
And first place goes to John Benedict Estrada and Pauline Victoria Estrada. S18-04. Early detection of drought stress through a novel AI drought assessment, IDA, model in field-grown tomato, Selenum lycopersicum, plants using a custom-built Spectre Rover. Clovis North High School. In the field of toxicology for the senior division, Category S-21 this year's category award recipients are. Honorable mention goes to Andrea Calderon, Kim Nguyen and Paul Tran. S21-01. The effects of carbon-based air pollution on neural activity of Gromphodorina portentosa. Westminster High School. Receiving an honorable mention, Asia Zo. S2102. Constructing a drug response prediction model based on the integration of protein protein interactions and genomics data. Sage Hill School. Receiving an honorable mention, Aisha Rendawa. S21 03. Excess weight gain are chemicals or excrement in environmental dust to blame? Corona High School. An honorable mention to Joyce Yang. S2105. Small RT a toxicity classification system through smiles and multimodal representation to cross-check hazardous chemicals. Notre Dame High School San Jose. Our fourth place winner is Anna Enton. S21-07. Reducing symptoms of Parkinson's disease in fruit flies. In third place, Elaine Dong. S2108. Cross-linked zinc oxide nanoparticles a novel approach to combating antibiotic resistance and nanoparticle-induced toxicity. Canyon Crest Academy. In second place we have Matthew Wang. S21-06. The effects of thiamin on Aurelia Aurita, LC50, regeneration, and wound healing. Flintridge Preparatory School. And first place goes to Christopher Kwok and Nicholas Kwok. S2104 eukaryotic algaecide, environmental remediation of harmful algal blooms via microencapsulation for bioactivation of programmed cell death. Sequoia High In the field of zoology for the junior division, Category J-22 this year's category award recipients are An honorable mention to Ali Carrillo, J-2205, the effects of probiotics on the reproduction rates of Tenebrio milliliter. Cardin School of Fresno. Receiving an honorable mention, Tarek Arif. J22-15. Effect of household chemicals on the bioluminescence of dinoflagellates. Granada Islamic School. Our fourth place winner is Natalie London, Ava McQuaid and Saskia Summer. J22-11. The effects of vitamins on stem cell regeneration in planaria. Archer School for Girls. In third place, Lara Rendawa. J22-14. Probiotic Power. The impact of macronutrients in Indian dahi yogurt on the lifespan of fruit flies. Auburndale Intermediate. In second place we have Ji-Yu Kim Young. J2204. The effect of light pollution on the circadian rhythm of fruit flies measured with raspberry pi. Galita Valley Junior High. And first place goes to Rory Hu. J22-03. The effects of pesticides, caffeine tea polyphenols on the visual and olfactory learning and memory of the honey bee. The Harker School Middle School. In the field of zoology for the senior division, Category S-22 this year's category award recipients are Receiving an honorable mention, Caleb and Pig, S-2203 Does bird species diversity influence transmission of West Nile virus in humans? Orange County School of the Arts An honorable mention to Jaspreet Sahota S-22-06 Assessing the effect of curcumin on alpha-synuclein aggregation in a model organism for Parkinson's disease, Drosophila melanogaster. Sanger High School. 
Receiving an honorable mention, Jack Jennings. S2208. The effect of artificial temperature control on the health and productivity of Apis mellifera hives. Martin Luther King High School. An honorable mention for Lauren Van. S22-11. Uncovering the origin and evolution of the Firefly Bioluminescence Storage Protein. Portola High School. An honorable mention to William Boyd. S2216. Can jellyfish smell? Aurelia Aurita exhibit a pulse response to food stimuli. Flintridge Preparatory School. Our fourth place winner is Eunice Ametia, Anna Gorman, and Tarn Riley. S22 18. Hydrodynamic differences between chained and wheeled aggregate salp formations. Santa Catalina School. In third place, Grant Gallagher. S2210. Robotic microinjection of embryos for producing transgenic mosquitoes. Sage Hill School. In second place, we have Vivian Wu. S22-12. Investigation of changes in foraging activity and learning behavior in honeybees following miticide treatment. Palo Alto High School. And first place goes to Sabine Close and Natalia Moro. S2204. Analysis of coupled nonlinear dynamic phenomena using sensors to detect abnormal motion in quadrupeds. Sequoia High School. Congratulations to all our Category Award recipients and everyone who participated in the fair. Remember to check out the other Fair Wide Award videos. We are grateful to all of our participants, judges, sponsors, parents, teachers, directors, volunteers, the California Science Center, and everyone who worked so hard to participate in and support this year's California Science and Engineering Fair.